Yeah, so you've kind of asked two different parts. Um, you know, here at my academy, we, uh, we definitely have a culture of, of being a student. You know, um, this is like getting an education. And, uh, you know, when you go to school, if you're going to Harvard, you know, a university, um, you're definitely taking notes, right? You're, yep. you're learning from, from some of the brightest minds in, in, the, in the world you know, your professors at Harvard, um, and they're going to test you. And so you need to be taking notes, right? Um, and, and you have to do homework, you have to study off the mats as well, or outside of school, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's the same. That's the try to, that's the culture we try to preach here is, uh, you know, you are a student of martial arts. Um, you have some, you know, highly accomplished, great minds to, to learn from here. And you should 100% be taking notes. We have a curriculum, you know, and people are, are studying their curriculum, um, you know, taking notes of their classes and, and embodying that student mindset, uh, which I think is, is very important. We try to preach that early on so it sticks with them forever. Mm. Um, and, and it'll only give you better results, you know, 100%, you know, uh, keeping a notebook, having your goals, tracking everything, writing down your questions, writing out your game. When, when you write it, you see it in your head. It, 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 it's like mental repetitions, you know? Yeah. And so you can get those mental repetitions and, and fully like perform a move better without even having done it physically, but you got those mental reps, you know, okay, I need to turn here. I need to do this because you wrote it down. You saw it, you thought about it, you know? Um, so 100%, I, I, you know, bring that culture into my school. Um, and it runs through the students, the instructors, everybody. We, you know, that that's how, uh, we, we teach Brazilian Jiu Jitsu here. Um, beyond that, as far as the, the mentality stuff, you know, it's just things you have to talk about, you know, uh, at the end of the class, in the middle of class, like the, the mindset everyone should have coming into their training, um, how to get the most out of, out of your training and out of each round. You know, if you're a bigger guy training with a smaller guy, play guard, you know, pull guard, mm. um, you know, work your movement, work, work your defense. Um, but, but force yourself to start on your back. Um, maybe you have a weakness and that's the other person's strength, you know? So, don't avoid it. Let them, let them get a little bit of their game going. And then you try to work your way out of it. You know, um, like I said, just always having a focus and, and limiting yourself. You can't, especially when you're trained with the same people every day, you know, for the most part, your, your rounds tend to become, uh, you know, the same, right. They, they, they replicate themselves. Um, especially when you become so familiar with each other's games, you kind of like, you know, know how to play just right to avoid things, this and that. And next thing you know, you have the same, the same round every time and, and nothing happens, you know, mm -hmm. nothing new, nothing new happens. Mm -hmm. And so you have to, you know, limit yourself, not always play your A game, um, go into their strengths, you know, to spark improvement and, and make new things happen, you know, try new things. So um, having that mentality you know, and that approach helps so much. Um, then as far as the confidence stuff and all that, um, you know, that's something that I really spend time with on my competitors with, you know, my, 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 my team, the guys that compete, that's where it's really important for them. Um, you know, and one of the main things we talk about is just, of course, you, you need to have your auto suggestions, your, the things that you say to yourself, the self-talk, you know, you, you have to have those in place and that takes training, right? Mm -hmm. You can't just show up on the day of a competition and say, all right, you know, today's the day. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is it. You know, uh, and, and you just start it that day. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You have to be doing it every day. Uh, the same way you train physically, technically, um, you know, you got to be training mentally, you know, you're training your mindset, your, your mind power. Mm. Um, and you have to be feeding it, right? Feeding it quality food, the mm. same way you have to eat healthy. You know, what you say, the, the feed, the, 
the, you know, the things that you uh, uh, read, you know, write, watch, you need to be inspired and at all times and everything has to be very positive. Um, your visualization, you know, meditation, um, all of those things help you control your mind um, to where, you know, you, you believe 100%. You just believe. 